we're gonna break down him. And a warm welcome to one and all. And for those of you who have not seen me before, my name is Langers. I am the overgrown child that is the scruffy trader. And today is Monday. Don't do it to get a deal on a Monday. Um, but what I do do is I still keep an eye on the charts and watch what's going on. And if I see an opportunity, I might have a golden shot. Well, let's trade it once. Now, I've already traded the FTSE this morning for the challenge, and that's, that's done. Um, it's a good series of videos to watch, by the way, if you want to get your head around trading in the real world and grinding into a decent pot because when you're watching all of the well this you ding dong <laughs> you might as well put a lottery ticket on because the odds are the same but if you've grounded into realism then you'll achieve your target took me four years to get to my area you know four years it doesn't happen overnight and even after that i'm still grinding at it day in day out so but i'm happy with what i want and what i want is about 200 quid a day why because it pays me very well you know and it gets me into a wage i'm happy with and i have a lifestyle that i'm happy with but there's different ways to look at it that's my wage but then I trade another account, which is my car. So that doesn't come out of my wage. I trade another account, which is my pension. So that doesn't come out of my wage. And then I mess about for a holiday. You know, you see me do the challenges where I'll build things up. And I'll buy myself a holiday out of it. So collectively, it does me very well. And you see that. I did an update at the weekend. Showed you... A third party statement the reason why I showed it on the third party platform is I have no access to it so what you see is what you get it's real time and real figures so ask some of the others to show you that and I really did it as well because I'm sick to tired of people having a pop at me saying I don't know what I'm doing and slagging me off and one thing and another there it was black and white and it can't be denied simple as that so my question to you lot is would you do it would you put your head on the block i do it every day and why because i'm a professional trader it's my job and that's what i'm meant to do you know it's not flash in the pan i don't pat myself on the back when i do well i just get on with it same as probably you guys do with your job maybe the difference is i love my job I genuinely love my job. Are you serious? I really do. So anyway, let's have a little look, see what we getting into. Now, I am looking at cable today. Why is that? Well, if I pull up my window of the world, this is kind of what I look at every day. These drops are significant. And when you see a drop like that, what goes down must come up. And it really is that simple, guys. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly put it together. Then I'm going to go wander off, get a coffee, because Winky's not doing her job. I can say that because she's not here. If she was here, oh, let, let's just see I'll come off worse. I might be six foot and 20 stone because I am quite a big guy. Uh, and she's five foot touching, well, probably six stone. <laughs> But she goes to the gym. We get into it. She royally fucked me up. Um, and it's just not going to happen. Because if I go in the kitchen, make a mess, I normally run away. Um, but hey ho, story for another day. Or maybe a story for the day. Who knows? I don't know where you get your delusions, laser brain. You know, if I am come back to the screen later on and I've got like sort of trickles of blood down here and a black guy, let, let's just say I've messed Winky's kitchen up. But if I come back with a smile on my face, she made the coffee for me. How good is that? <laughs> so, right. What am I doing? 
Well, I'm going to trade Kim. But I'm going to break it down for you in a simplistic way. Right. What's it show you? What can you see? Well, if you go by the norm, you would say this is a downward trend. Why? Because the trend says that. You know, high, lower high, lower high. You know. But is this trend over? Well, who knows? Because you could go from point to point and say, well, there's a, uh, sorry, point to point and say there's a channel. So let's have a little look at that. Right. And say there's a channel, right? And it is bouncing up the channel. Looks great, doesn't it? It does in hindsight. But how do you pick that out in the moment? You can't. You know, I prefer to do it a different way. I don't like trend lines because they are subjective. And why have I picked on this? Because I saw it the other day, someone going, ah, this is what's going to happen. And I don't necessarily agree with it. Um, why? I think the pound overall is to the upper side. But there is something to be said about trend lines and caging in price. But I don't take it as a definitive. So what else can we look at? We can look at moving averages. Now, there are certain key moving averages that can help you give a bias. Now, the main one is 200. Why is it 200? Well, it's it's kind of on stocks and shares. It's based on 40 weeks. Why 40 weeks? Because it takes into account uh, seasonal holidays, faith holidays, and things like that. And there's around 40 trading weeks a year if you were balancing things out. All right. And it's also just sort of a barometer of time. It's a decent barometer of time that you can also break down. So if you can imagine 200 is the year's trading days. A 50 is the quarter. A 20 is 20 trading days in a month. Then you break it down to a five because there are five days in a working week and then you move it up to eight which is eight hours in a working day and that's kind of the breakdown of a moving average and and the kind of thought process behind it so you can see a year a quarter a month a day and a working day simple as that right? or, or a week rather five five days in a week and then a working day um so they do have their place. Are they the be all and end all of everything? Not really. Because they are lagging. So what you do is you use them just as a basis, a guide. So if I'm looking at a daily, which is where you get your barometers from, this is trading above the 200. So for all that channel is moving down, is it reasonable to assume that this can still stay on the top side? Because for 200 days, that's what it's telling you. It's telling you the pressure's up. It takes a lot of energy to burst a 200 moving average. Now, when you start seeing these on five minute and 15 minute charts, it's not what that moving average is designed to do. Okay. Um, they just become lines on the chart that are sort of dynamic support and resistance. When you're looking for getting biases, etc., you would start on the daily, and that will give you an idea of what's going on. All right. So this is giving me a bias to the upside, and this is a very simple way of doing it. Now I do work my biases out on a spreadsheet, and it'll give me the bias for the next working hour or the next sort of working day if you like drills it right in uh, it's an equation i've put together over a long period of time now i'll not go through it today because you've seen it many times uh, what we're interested in is to see whether or not i can get some money out of this market so my bias is to the upside so i'm going to take this down a little bit 
Now, what else can I see here? Well, you can see there's a lot of momentum in the market just by here. If we're looking at daddy levels, well, we can see it's already respected the last one, which is there. You know, that was last night. Now, you kind of discount that to a certain degree. So it's this one you work on. All right? And you can see there, it's respecting this. It hasn't pushed below, so it could well work its way back up, certainly into the midpoint. If I look at the midpoint, it's marrying up with this lot. So this is it's quite an interesting market. Let's drop this down slightly. What's the four hour telling us? Well, there's your move up. It's kind of having a bit of a sell off, but it isn't breaching down here. Okay. Now, if you're starting to cage the price in, which is what we go on to do, you start looking at where it's been to put some zones in and levels, etc. Well, I would say as a best fit level, it's there. Why is that? Well, it's the base of that candle. It's tested it. It's been there before and there's a cluster point. So we can put a, a line in, just like so. All right. What's happened above it? Well, if we look at cluster points, there's been a roll over here at that point. You can see it's tested it before here and here and it has flattened out there so it's reasonable to assume we put a level in there so the price is nicely caged in pretty simple but let's drill down further into this see what's going on with it right put two levels in see what's going on it's had a drive up colossal sell-off it's pushed down onto here in the past and it has bunched so that is quite an interesting way to look at this now what i'm going to do is i'm going to drop on just a basic a basic um indicator and that's an rsi why is that the RSI telling you what's well, telling you it's not sort of overstretched or anything in the in the chart you know because the way to read it is overbought oversold and one thing and another but what about when it's in the middle well if you work it back over we can see it's touched down here but it hasn't gone overbought come down it's touched but it hasn't gone overboard so is that telling you the buyers are here and i know you'll go what way how do you work that one out well it's because there's not enough sellers to slam it right down over the last few days you know it's pushed down but every time it's got close it's been pulled back up so we've got that to give you an idea. So we've got a bias to the upside from the 200. The RSI is telling me there's not enough sellers in to slam this down because it's not pushing down and we're approaching a level. Simple stuff, guys, simple stuff. So is it now not reasonable to assume that I can get back up to here? Well, if I come onto a five minute chart, and I look at that RSI, well, well, look at that. It's coming off and overbought and pushing up, and it's green. Very, very simple. So all I need to do now is put some staged orders in up here, which is exactly what I'm going to do now. So what I'll do is I'm going to put some staggered orders in. Put one there. I'm going to put another one in above it, which is on that line. I'm going to put another one in to get in the middle. Just like so. And then all I need to do is work between this point. 
easy stuff now i can also bounce the the charts if i so wish and that means i can just let it go five pips get scored let it come back to the start re-enter the market get another five pips while it's working its way up into these targets that i've just set now what i'm also going to do is move the price down over as this moves that way just in just getting a better price in, in case in point just there so i can now move these onto here and the charts don't have to work as hard now i can also i think this is possibly going to hold so what i can do is i can put an order under here so if it does come down pick it up and then go up and then i'm at full whack of the orders with a little one to spare i'll just show you that so i'm going to put that down there put one to there right i'm just going to move that up to roughly there put that in line with that what does this order do well because i'm not going to manage this too much today i'm going to just kind of set and forget it you know if i was going to go for the bounces i would just put that there get five pips let it come down get five pips let it come down get five pips till that one closed out then i would forget it however today i've got quite a bit of work to do on this side so i'm just going to set it i know these orders will pay me so there's 50 quid there 75 quid there 135 quid there that is my 200 pounds uh, with a little bit extra i'll just let it get on with it simple as that you know and if this does come down pick that up and then comes up even if it just gets to there pay me quite well so there we go guys that's kind of a quick breakdown of cable what i expected to do and kind of what i expect to get out of it so i'll just let it run out and i'll catch you on the other side
there we go guys closed it out why because i've hit my target and it's running out of steam before it goes into the next wave and it's 20 past two being at it most of the morning and today got a few things i want to do this afternoon as you might see my kids are running around um getting prepared for the wedding in a few weeks time so we're going to go off and have a look at that that's the beauty of being able to do what we do so let's have a look see what we've achieved there we go 277 i was looking for 200 quid so i'm quite happy with that and away we go so that was a relatively easy trade um this took a bit longer to play out than i thought but trading is not about timing it's about patience it's always going to oscillate the market's going to move up the market's going to pull back and as you noticed i let it move up clawed out as much as i could so i can see what was going on let it top out had a rough idea where it was going to come back to put some pending orders waiting let it come down pick the orders up and then back up to finish off the targets just execute a trade you know and like i keep saying this is a job and my job is to extract money from the market not be a hero hanging on getting in down here and getting out up there and then sort of thinking oh i've got some money oh i've got no money oh i've got some money oh i've got no money the job is oh i've got some money get it out wait oh i've got some money get it out wait not go through an emotional roller coaster of highs and lows because i can see the pnl swinging up and down nothing wrong with taking a profit as long as you plan it so there you go guys uh another one for today uh, i'll be back at the challenge tomorrow and if you're stuck by all means contact me i'm very easy found you'll catch all of the details in the description below as will be decent brokers by all means check out the five percent as prop fund you'll get five percent discount off the fees if you want to go into that and if you want to see my statements check some of the videos out and you can see exactly how much they will pay you just for trading and also if you have got limited funds and you want to use your own funds go have a look at black bull because they've got 500 to 1 leverage at the moment and there is plenty of free education and i'll help you as well and the links are down in the description so as always guys trade well keep your risk managed but above all do what you love and the money will follow see you all in the next one